Hello everybody and welcome once again to Surviving with Blood Magic. Last episode we had a good start really I think. Uh, this episode we're going to carry on and upgrade hopefully the altar to tier 2. Um, I think first of all we'd like to make a division sigil. Hopefully I pronounced that right. I did pronounce Tartaric Gem incorrectly last time. Sorry about that. And I also pronounced Sentient Sword incorrectly too. But let's uh, carry on without that. Uh, so let's get started. Right, the first thing I'm going to make is the ash, the arcane ash. I need four things for that, and I've actually not got everything I need with me, but it's all here. So we're going to need some actually gunpowder, some more charcoal. Um, I think it was redstone, I'm not 100% sure. We'll have a quick look at the ash recipes here. So, in here, so redstone, ash, um, and bone meal. And I've got all of these things. I think bone meal should be in one of my chests because I've got it. There we go. I've got some more demonic will, by the way. I'll show you that in a second. So we put these into here with some... Um, uh, I'm not sure how much it uses, but we have 20 uses for this. So we need to put all of these four items in here. Gunpowder was the other one. And then we put the pet petty tartaric gem in here. And it will actually use up some of this. This is 63.6. .6, and it doesn't use any up. But it just needs it to make the sash. The next thing we wanted to make was a division sigil. <laughs> yeah. So what we need for that is we need one piece of slate. And I've got slate with me. I've got 11 blank slates here. And I can't remember what the other bit was. Sigil of haste. It's. I think it was redstone we need to do for that one. Let's have a look. Divination sigil. So yes, it's one redstone and then a blank slate. Now the redstone's the catalyst, I think. So let's go and get the redstone to hurt one more piece of redstone. So what we do is we, we use this, we put this down, we right click the ground on it. Let's do it just here, it doesn't really matter where we do it. And then you get this little pattern here. So then you have to put the items in the right order. So I think you put the item in first of all and it's changed its shape. And then we put when we put the uh, slate in here, the blank slate, it'll then start to do its rotation stuff. And we'll then end up with a sigil. Divination sigil. Well, how long it takes? It takes a few seconds. And there we've got it. Now this sigil will show us information about the altar. And you can see here I've got 10,000 on the bottom left hand corner. I had to move it because it was clashing with the um, uh, one probe stuff. It, which actually tells me it's tier one. So we've got 10,000 of 10,000. Now each of these blank slates, if you look for the recipe of that, is 1,000. So that means we can put 10 of those in there. Now it's a pain putting them individually, but you can use uh, a hopper. Let's just put 10 pieces of stone in that, and that'll completely exhaust the um, this. I'll split it up again. There we go. So let's put 10 into the item hopper. They'll all come into here like this and then they'll all convert slowly as, it, as you as you can see so while, we do, while that's doing that i'm going to make some more of the um the next thing the ruins we need to make the ruins don't we so to actually upgrade the art altar so this is the recipe we're going to use so we've got the weak blood we've got two slates so i'm going to be able to make five of these and lots of sl uh, and lots of stone i need more stone than i've got there let's take another stack of stone uh, and let's make what craft what we can so starting with this one here is basically what we need so now it's giving me this and because these this doesn't stack you can't shift click everything in so we can simply do it like this drag it around split that into two and that will give us five of these blank runes and as you can see remove the rest of the stuff out of there and now these should be getting down a bit as you can see the altars going down and here it will tell us the actual on the bottom left you see it's now four thousand so it's exactly the right amount, 10,000 is for 10. So we shall let that carry on for a few more seconds. And while that's carrying on, what we can then do with this, let's have a look at the uses of these. We can make uh, sacrificial ruins as well, but that requires, ruins of self-sacrifice requires glowstone. 
dust. So I can't do that until they've been to the nether. It also requires a reinforced slate. So we need to make a tier 2. Because the reinforced slate, let must be for that, is 2,000 LP in a tier 2. So we've got to go build a, build the altar, upgrade it to tier 2, and then put these down. So let's just start putting these down. Can't do that with that one. Well, we can actually put these three down like that. Try again. And you'll see here I'm actually a bit too close to the altar with these plants. I'll have to break them, unfortunately. Let's just get my pickaxe out and clear the rest of this round. One of the nice things about blood magic is that the things tend to be progressive, with the exception of the orbs. You don't need the orbs aren't progressive. Um, in fact, that should have finished. Here we are. And so now we've got all 10 of these done in one go. So let's put these two down here like that. Take those out of there. As you can see, we've now got 10. So we can make the next... Um, actually, I don't need so many, do I? I've got 10. So I need to make... I've done five, so I need three more. So let's uh, put the recipe for these up. So three more is... Split that into two. I shall do it like this. And take half of those away like that, and that'll be that'll be fine for that. And then just runs across. Try again. That's mouse tweaks, by the way, when you're scrolling, doing that stuff like that. So I've got three more blank slates. Now, when you actually escape out of here, things don't drop on the ground anymore. They do go straight into your inventory, which is also helpful. It saves you picking things up. So as soon as I put these three down here like this, this altar will then become a tier two altar, or well, just about as soon as you do it. In fact, it should tell you uh, here when we look at this with a signal. So there we are. It's now tier 2 and it's got no blood in it. So we've got no blood in this, but I've got my sword here, Sentinel's... This, and I haven't got enough full health yet, so just get full health. So this would normally give you, if you right-click this sacrificial dagger, it would give you, I think, 200 for each click so this will use nine hearts so you'd expect to get 1800 so let's right click this so now we've got that and so in here we have 2160 so we've got a, about 300 extra so that's what that's all about so, and you can see and we've also got soul fray if you look on here it should tell me we've got soul fray and soul fray basically prevents you to repeating this uh, dying and repeating it again so you get a lot of um, XP uh, uh, in here so now the next thing we can do with that we can actually make the second tier of the slates so let's just put in one of these like that I can do it that way actually that's probably as easy doing that way as it? with one it's that way because we just got over 2000 we know that that's going to be sufficient so now we're going to make something else. The next thing I want to craft is the blood letters uh, tunic. I'm not completely sure the difference between this one and the other one. We made the um, coat of arms. Now let's have a look at the blood letters pack. It's a slightly different recipe. It was iron in this one and now it's got flint. Let's craft one of these. And let's put it on. So this one stores LP. And I'm not sure if this one's... Ooh stored 200 oh it's taking it from me <laughs> ah so the lp is going from me into the blood letters pack and bringing my health down i think it brings my health down about half so as i go up it's taking damage again yeah so that's what the blood letters pack does <laughs> whether that's a good thing or not i'm not 100 percent sure but as my heart health goes up it takes it away again as you can see and then this will be filling this up with LP and it'll go up to 10,000 LP I guess the same as this one's done so this LP came from the um, other from the mobs and this one's coming from myself um, I'm not sure I'm too happy with that at the moment <laughs> but we'll put it in put it away in here we'll, um, I'll take it off of tonight so now we know what the difference is <laughs> see the you or the see the you or the um or the mobs that take get give you the lp so that was coming from when i killed mobs i guess it was here now obviously you'll see here i've got some demonic will 
And what was happening is that this Tartaric gem here got full. 64 is the max. And as it got full, it then puts the, it creates new dem demonic will items. Um, and the mobs were dropping those. You can actually repair this. Sentient armor. There's actually a whole load of sentient stuff in here. There's also a sentient gem. Which will convert your armor to other stuff. So I think that's sentinel armor gem. This one here. So it's diamond chest plate with some block of iron that and a lesser tartaric, tartaric gem. And how much will does that need? 240. And it the needs a minimum and we have to have and it'll use 150 of that so that means we have to upgrade this so we can actually get make the lesser tartaric gem which is basically one diamond so let's do that because that gives you a load of properties anyway and it anyway I would like to get the next level of tartaric gem so we need a diamond a block of redstone and a lesser one so let's do that we got diamond a block of redstone and a block of lapis, which I'm a bit short of lapis, but we can do some resource gathering and another epi uh, later on or by myself. There we go. So that's the four items we need. So we need probably need some demonic will. I'm not sure if it used demonic will for actually doing this one, but I think we can do it. So let's just see. It'll tell me if I can't, so that's fine. So we need. That, 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 and the Petit Tartaric Gem, I think is what it needs, and it needs some Demon Will. So we haven't got enough. I wonder if I do it the other way around if that works. I'll try that again. No, it doesn't. So we have to make another Tartaric Gem. I think, let's have a look, let's have a look. Pretty, so let's look at the recipe for that, and it says, oh yes, it needs 60. Um, and the you can use this one but it's got to have 60 worth of will in it but I suspect the easiest thing to do is to make a sm another petty tartaric gem so let's do that so I need gold redstone glass on that so okay I think they stay in there they do good in fact I thought the maximum for the I'm not sure what the maximums are for the different things so we need I think that was redstone gold glass what was the other thing lapis and some demon will will give me the next one of those let's take those out of there like this so glass redstone and that's going to use some of this up I think it uses one yeah so we've got another one of these let's go down and now and i'm going to go down back to the mob farm and grind some more mobs um what's this telling me now if you're right if you right click this it tells you how much essence we've got we've got 400 lp essence and that's probably stored in here it doesn't say i've got anything stored in here at the moment so let's go down anyway I'll tell you what i won't bother doing this on camera i will see you in a short while What I haven't showed you is I've actually tarted up the uh, the mod spawner a bit and blocked it all off. But what you'll see here, I've actually got some more demonic will that's been picked up because this petty tartaric gem is now both full of um, uh, demon will. So when you kill another one of these, it's going to increase the. It's either going to drop another um, demon will, which we can see in here. I can't see in there if we can get past the zombie like that. So we've got another demon will, and the, these are it will then start to increase in their demon will, I think. I'm not 100% sure about that, to be honest with you. Anyway, that's enough. We've got enough for what we need. In fact, I think we don't even need what I've got anyway. So you'll see here I've made it sort of a bit better. We just go down here in some steps, and we come through here again uh, and go up the stairs. So that's. Well, that's about actually. I'm going to eat again. I don't know why. I think it eventually from that thing of going the right way. Nope, <laughs> choice of two and went, went the wrong way. So we can now create the letter. And I've got a feeling we don't need to do that anyway. So let's just try without 
doing that. So what we need is one piece of gold, one piece of lapis, and my inventory is full. I've got. Let's just get rid of some clean inventory a little bit because I don't need all of this stuff. I've got them here. Sand, block of lapis I wanted. Flower I will put away. Uh, actually, I'll put it in for the time. I'll need to replant this flower. It's good for that. So we can. I'm going to make another one of these tartaric gems. So that was, if I remember right, it was glass, gold, redstone, lapis. With some demonic will, and that will then create another one of these. So let's have a glass. Oh, I didn't pick up the gold. And some gold. You probably, no, you probably noticed me not picking up the gold. We use a reasonable amount of gold as well in this playthrough, I think. So I've got to find a good find a good source of that. Maybe zombie pigment would be a good source. I don't think that will work because it's not got one in it. This one will. So I think to make this now we we can do this. So this is the it doesn't have an doesn't need any will. So I didn't need to go make, get a second uh, petty titanic gem. But you'll notice this has now got 7.5 attack damage because the will we've now got over 128 will on us. So now we should be able to craft this. So I wanted this one with empty one, and then we needed a block of that and a diamond. Where did it go to? Did it not go into that? Oh, of course it went to the wrong place. So we should then be able to put this into here. And that's going to use, uh, I'm not sure which it was going to use, 50, 20. So now we've got the lesser Tartaric gem. And then the next level up is this one. So this one requires 240 will. Uh, and the Imbued Slate. Now Imbued Slate is a tier 3 altar. So we've got a little bit of time before we can go and make this one. Um, but can we do this now? What do we need? 240 again to make the sentient armor. That's actually quite a neat thing. So and it also needs a diamond chest plate. And it also means what it does is actually all sorts of things. Anyway, we've now got us. We've also got this. Let's just take this out of here. So, so we've got a reinforced slate. So the uses of the reinforced slate was the ruin of self-sacrifice, which we need to basically make, or maybe we could do the uh, ruin of sacrifice. Now that this one would then increase the amount of XP or LP that the uh, mobs give you when you grind a mob. I probably can do that. So let's do that next. I think we shall craft another um, uh, for a uh, uh, blood altar. So I've forgotten the recipe for blood altar. Now that we need a demonic wheel. Let's spell it right. So the blood altar. Yes, it's just stone. two gold. Okay, four stone, one furnace, two gold. Got enough stone, one furnace. And one of those. We should be able to just then create another one of these. So what I would like to do is to also make the dagger next, because we've got the um, dagger of sacrifice. So we can make another blood altar like this. I should be able to craft that in now. So we've got one of these, and then we need to make the dag the second dagger. This one. So this is just an iron sword in a tier two altar with three thousand LP. No big deal. So we just make another iron sword. I need, need one more piece of iron from in here and some sticks, which I don't ever find. I've got a few bits and pieces in this chest now. I've been these two are trapped chests, so I can put them up there. So we just need some wood. Some wood. So let's just make a diamond sword. I'm always using sticks, basically for the farm. That's why I'm using lots of sticks like that. So now let's make sure we've got 3,000 LP in here. We should have about 1,000, I think. I don't know, 160, so I'm going to have to do this a couple of times. Let's just do that once. And then eat. Because one of the advantages of fishing is you do get food quite reasonably quickly. In fact, it's better to take for... Um, fishing's not here, is it? Oh, it is here, it's at the top. If I take a stack of raw salmon and cook that, 
that would be a better thing to do for doing this for anyway because raw salmon gives you much more um, saturation as you will see in a second when this one's done uh, I'll put in a stack and we'll have a stack of raw salmon so you can see this has got four and a half saturation and three this has got three so it's it's better it's not as it's not as good as other things because I've got some raw pork chops and the use of the pork chops when you cook that that's actually giving you I'm just trying to count that six and a half saturation so that's pretty good uh, and four health bars back again um, now I have got some pigs now so let's just go and breed up some pigs I just need some uh, carrots for them now, they should be in the farm one of the things about doing this farming is you do end up with all these all these goodies so to speak I think the Yes, we've got 53, so just take out two of those and then go and breed up the pigs. So we have a better food supply and come out of here. I've got some, oh, those cows have grown up as well, I can do them. So I've got four pigs in here, so let's just, uh, I only bought two carrots, never mind. I thought I only had three pigs, to be honest with you, but there we go. So you should be able to see the the breeding time on these pigs and the neat bit here is showing you the damage and the to and the health of these two for some reason I had some cows in here and they got blown up never mind so now while that's doing that I'll eat the raw salmon and where's the fish wait a few seconds because that just takes a few seconds now to get this back up again and just one fish should be enough to give me 100% health bar again so let's have a look at this one how much we're we doing 2320 so one more stab with the dagger should give me plenty in here so now we can put the the iron sword into here and that'll then turn into this dagger of sacrifice well that's doing that leads doesn't take very long this one as far as I remember uh, Now, of course, we can make some more slates, but what I've got to do is I'm not going to do that on the other altar as it happens because we've got a free supply of mobs. <laughs> and this thing actually becomes a one hit weapon. There you go. So now we have our dagger of sacrifice. So let's go and take this down back to the zombies and give them a hard time. Try not to miss the, the the junction this time. I missed it last time. Went carrying on, walking along. And you'll see the ones up. You get a nearer this thing. It actually starts to light up. You have to be about eleven blocks away from it. There it goes. So now it's going to start spawning mobs. So what we do now is we can put the altar down. So if I put down the altar here. Uh, in fact, I can put the altar down here. I think it'll work. So when the mob, first mob comes along, we just sacrifice him. Either I put him here or here. I'm not sure exactly where I need to be, but I think there needs to be about one block away from me, either diagonally in any direction. And I think it has to be away from me. So you see, I hit that one, one hit, and this has got blood in it. So this is a really good way of getting blood for the um for, from the mobs you can right click in here so we got we'll end up with a lot of rotten flesh too much as it happens but we also get the potatoes and the carrots ingots of iron and a few other things as they come along here i might have to do some clearing up of some other mobs and lighting up some areas so that these guys spawn faster and then we can see it's got 300 and see this is going down now if you're looking on the left hand side at the bottom and that's because it's filling the tanks with um, it's it's st internal storage tanks I'm spawning slowly today oh, come on some lot coming now two actually what I want to see is how much they actually increase this by so that's stopped going down now so it's 428 there's also a, there's, they must be below me, 
So I think for next episode, between episodes, I'm gonna get rid of those guys. So 428. Nine hundred and four. So we're getting six hundred. Is that right? Five hundred and. Hold on a second. I'll be back in a second with a calculation. Four seventy-six, I believe. Let's just let me double check that. Yes, four seventy-six. But as you can see, <laughs> very very good tool for getting mob uh, for getting blood. And of course we can then start, to put another, I'll put another um, hopper on this and we'll start feeding this with some more, um, f feed it with some more um, stones and we'll, get, and we'll get some more slates. And then I can upgrade this as well because there's plenty of space around here to upgrade this without interfering with what I wanted to do. Which is great because underneath here I've got the, uh, the hopper. need to eat again and of course I can do self-sacrifice on here as well because I've got this the, 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 the uh, my sacrificial dagger is still full of uh, whatever it is incense I think uh, of course we're getting XP from here as well so have a look at this should be able to reach cannot reach a zombie in the way okay zombie you're in the way excuse me So you see now I've got my ironing up from there. So we have a source of iron, which is great. And as you can see, this is going up nicely. So that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it, learned something new. And next episode, we shall be going to the nether, I think, because we need some glowstone. So until then, bye for now.